hello friends welcome to my channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is immunodiffusion test which is a type of precipitation reaction the basis of immunodiffusion test is antigen antibody interaction and precipitin curve i have already made a video on antigen antibody interaction and precipitin curve link of the videos is added in the description in this video i am going to discuss two things first a short introduction to immunodiffusion test second types of immunodiffusion test namely first radial immunodiffusion which is also called as the mancini method and second double immunodiffusion which is also called as the ouster loney method now let us understand introduction to immunodiffusion test agar is a high molecular weight polysaccharide derived from seaweed which gets dissolved in aqueous solution upon heating and upon cooling form gels with a large pore size allowing most proteins including antibodies to diffuse through precipitation techniques in agar are typically carried out using gels thick enough to cast on glass slides wells are then cut into gel using a large bore pipette in diffusion techniques antibody and or antigen migrate through the gel by simple diffusion two types of immunodiffusion reactions can be used to determine relative concentration of antibodies or antigen to compare antigen or to determine the relative purity of an antigen preparation they are radial immunodiffusion which is also called as the mancini method and double immunodiffusion which is also called as the ouster loney method both are carried out in a semi solid medium such as agar now let us understand radial immunodiffusion If you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads radial immunodiffusion which is also called as the mancini method in radial immunodiffusion an antigen sample is placed in a well and allowed to diffuse into agar containing a suitable dilution of an anti serum as the antigen diffuses into the agar the region of equivalence is established and a ring of precipitation a precipitating ring forms around the well the area of the precipitating ring is proportional to the concentration of antigen by comparing the area of precipitating ring with a standard curve obtained by measuring the precipitating areas of known concentration of the antigen the concentration of antigen sample can be determined now let us understand double immunodiffusion that is ouster loney method double immunodiffusion which is also called as the ouster loney method in the ouster loney method both antigen and antibody diffuse radially from wells towards each other thereby establishing a concentration gradient as equivalence is reached a visible line of precipitation a precipitating line forms the interpretation of precipitating lines following double immunodiffusion explains the identity between the antigens